Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming to the City of Laredo Health Department, Santo Nino Wick Clinic, for the official grand opening ribbon cutting ceremony for the Baby Cafe. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce the director of the Health Department, Dr. Hector Gonzalez. Good morning, buenos dias. We wanted to make this a home occasion. Uh, our mayor is a, in, at the airport right now in another press conference and uh, asked me to tell you that he really supports breastfeeding um, and proud of the, of the work that we do with the health department. Judge Tijerina as well, they were both at, at LMC right now. Um, he's going to the airport too. So both the judge and the mayor couldn't be here, but let me tell you that both of them are very supportive of public health, of what we do at the health department, but in particular what, what this program does. And, and for some of you, when we did the grand opening, you heard the mayor and the city manager speak. And one city manager's in travel and the other one had a, a, another meeting too. But we're here, it's, 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 it's a time to celebrate en casa, among us, among the health department staff, among our program staff uh, who deal with moms and children every day, our um, CMS program, our maternal child health program, and our WIC program. You all do a great job. Um, I was telling the media that one of the indicators for a society of how well a community is, you measure it by how well our children are. And, and that's one. The second one is healthcare for women, how well are, are women. Um, in the job force and in health. Uh, our kids are well in Laredo. We can, they can be better, and, uh, better fed, uh, healthier, um, but I think in general, we outpass many communities. Um, we have high levels of immunizations. Um, WIC does a fabulous job in promoting uh, wellness, connecting them to their doctor. Um, then we have our Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies program as well that is increasing awareness about coming in early to prenatal care. And that's where WIC comes in too, uh, making sure that women are connected to their doctor because we want to make sure mom's healthy, baby's healthy. Um, once baby's born, what better way to start his life or her life than to breastfeed? I mean, I think all of you who are preaching to the choir know that breastfeeding not only provides you uh, protection, immunity, um, but we know it's evidence-based that it also provides protection for baby and mom, it reduces cancer for mom, reduces obesity for both mom and baby. But all of that, and the benefits are well known, the bonding that, that mom and baby do. And I may be stealing something that Marisa is going to say, but it's important that, that we say that in our prenatal program, in our women's health program, in our WIC program, that so much improves with breastfeeding, but the one special is the bonding. Um, now, it's not easy for those of you who help promote breastfeeding and who have breastfed, you know that sometimes it takes a little bit of coaching. So to our coaches, uh, to our IBCLCs and to our lactation uh, counselors, very important what you do. I can tell you that people have come up to me and said, thank you to your staff who helped me, held my hand, sat with me when I started breastfeeding. It made a difference. Some of them are staff. So thank you for what you do to all our counselors, to all our outreach staff, uh, to our promotoras who promote breastfeeding, very important in a day that we face both obesity and hunger. If it wasn't for WIC, we have some families who would have zero to eat. And so to our food bank, who's also a partner who, who works with us and many others to make sure that our families have something to eat. The very young or the vulnerable, our pregnant moms, and then the elderly at the other end. So what we do in WIC and in the health department to promote nutrition, to promote breastfeeding is critical. So, gracias de promover leche materna. Muy, muy importante. So, congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. All our counselors, our outreach workers, our lactation specialists, uh, and the ones soon to become lactation specialists. Um, thank you for what you do every day. And thank you to our, our manager here, our director here for the WIC program. 
Uh, is he doing a good job? <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing a great job, so we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Now, we've all seen this building. It's a beautiful building. I love this building. I love the colors. I love the decoration. But the Baby Cafe is not only the, the building. It's not the bricks. It's not the paint. It's actually the people that work here. And I want to recognize Ana Ilse, who's an international board certified lactation consultant. And of course, our peer counselors, Lisa Ann, Debbie, Irma, I know, and Vicky back there. Thank you. I was like, where did she go? All right. And of course, last but not least, Maritza Benavides, who is a registered dietitian, international board certified lactation consultant, and she runs our breastfeeding program. Good morning. Thank you all for being here um, to celebrate World Breastfeeding Week. It's celebrated every year, August 1st through August 7th. Um, but I feel that breastfeeding shouldn't be just celebrated one week out of the year. I feel all of us should be promoting it, um, educating our community about why uh, breastfeeding is so important and why it, as Dr. Gonzalez said, um, will help our community in the future for everyone to be healthier. Um, the World Health Organization, as well as Centers for Disease Control, does recommend that moms exclusively breastfeed for the first six months of life. And then once baby is um, able to start on their solid foods, then continued breastfeeding all the way to a year and beyond. And so WIC really plays a big role in promoting breastfeeding. Um, as uh, Mr. Wallace mentioned, we have staff of our breastfeeding peer counselors that work every day with our mothers. They go to both local area hospitals to do rotations and see mothers that just recently delivered. So that way they can um, help them with their breastfeeding needs and also to let them know that we're here at the WIC clinic as well for when they come. In addition for them coming to the WIC clinics, we have this um, new additional resource for the community, which is Baby Cafe. I'm not sure if all of you know what Baby Cafe is, but I'm going to explain what the concept is and where it originated. So a little bit of background about Baby Cafe is that it originated in the United Kingdom by two lactation consultants. They wanted an area for mothers to come together, share their experiences in an informal setting um, because they felt that peer support is very critical um, when sometimes moms may not get the support at home, they can rely on a person going through their same experience with their breastfeeding journey. And that's what we wanted for our community as well. Baby Cafe USA has 130 sites throughout the nation. So um, we're one of those 130 sites and not anyone can just say they're Baby Cafe. It's licensed. You have to apply to have um, the license, so that way when moms come, they have a standardized practice of care. So if mom walks in through our doors here, she can expect the same setting as if she were to go in another baby cafe anywhere around the nation. And what do they expect when they come to a baby cafe? They want that peer support. They can uh, make friends with other mothers that are breastfeeding. Pregnant moms are welcome to come here as well. Maybe they haven't had any, um, anyone in their family or friends that have breastfed, and maybe they want additional education and resources. So they too are welcome to come to Baby Cafe. And um, we also have a baby scale um, where moms can come in and we can weigh the baby um, weekly. That way we can see how baby is gaining because that's the best uh, determinator if they're gaining weight appropriately, if they're exclusively breastfeeding. Another thing that we do have is a special machine, and we can actually test a sample of mother's breast milk to detect the calorie amount and fat content. And um, typically we would like several samples throughout the weeks because we can do an average to see how they're doing because some moms feel um, sometimes unsure if baby is getting enough to feed. So we can always talk to her about all these as well. Um, so again, we really need your help in promoting our baby cafe. Um, I know all of us here see clients on a daily basis that are pregnant or breastfeeding. So if you can just please remind everyone that we are here every Tuesday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. to assist these breastfeeding and pregnant mothers. 
thank you for your time, and in a short while, we'll be able to tour the baby cafe so you can see everything we have to offer. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. Um, it's, it's our vision to make the baby cafe, this uh, building here, the center for breastfeeding in Laredo. Um, if anybody, if any local breastfeeding organization support group wants to come and meet and hang out here, this is the place to do it. I know we have some uh, pregnant moms in the audience. Thank you so much for coming. Please talk to Maritza and Ailse and the peer counselors. Ask them questions. If you don't, if you think of a question when you get home, call them up, call the WIC clinic. We're here to help you. Well, let me just repeat something, Marita. So to all our other programs, our maternity program, our well child program, our healthy mothers, NFP, I know they're at LMC, we need to promote the baby cafe or CMS a program as well to all the moms. We do want this to become a center of excellence for breastfeeding. But more than anything, to help moms. And so I think Marita did a great explanation of our baby cafe. It is certified, you don't get automatically we have to apply and to get accepted today we're proud to announce we have this certification and our sanitary has just got uh, word from the state that our our food handlers class is certified by the state so anyone who takes the the food handlers class is certified in the entire state of texas so two certifications our baby cafe and it wasn't easy but thank you to our staff and to our promotoras uh, you make a difference but i am going to challenge the rest of our programs to get the word out to bring moms to the center for to breastfeed. Come and learn. I mean, it's such a great, and then we have great staff. All, all, of, all of our lactation specialists. We have more than anyone else in, in Madrid. Yes, we do. <laughs> LMC has one. I'm not the doctor's house. Yes. I just have one, one from the end. Um, but we have two. And then we have a lot. Our NFP nurses all are trained in, in counseling. And so. We want to spread the word through all of our programs to make sure that they come to Baby Cafe. Thank you all. Thank you.